Hi everyone, welcome back to The Daily Ladies. Today, I had to make a video because one, it's been a week since I've uploaded and two, <sighs> I really don't have to give much explanation to this. Tomorrow, the Leaving Cert results come out at approximately 10 a.m. and <sighs> all this build up to that one moment tomorrow is scary. It's scary stuff. I kind of questioned whether I was going to make a video solely about the Leaving Cert results or whether I'd make something completely different um, and just pretend like it's not happening. But because this channel started out as a LC video diary thing, I thought that I really had to make um, a video about it, even though I don't really want to talk about it. Because most of you are already freaking out and this probably isn't helping to have someone else talking at you. Um, but I, it had to be done, it had to be done. So first off, the most important thing I want to say in this video is obviously good luck to everyone. Um, I think no matter what happens tomorrow, you're not going to be the only one feeling the way you are, whether you're elated or whether you're disappointed. And I don't want to give the whole speech about letters and numbers on a page don't define you, because even though they don't, uh, that's easy for me to say. For example, if I came out overjoyed and someone else is deathly disappointed, it would be easy for me to say, you know, it's going to be fine. So I'm not going to do that because I was looking up kind of leaving certain videos from previous years and there were loads of people who got like 580 points who are sitting there in front of the camera saying, but if you didn't get what you want, like it's totally fine. Everything will be fine. And I'm thinking that's easy for you to say so. I'm not gonna go into that big spiel, um, to be honest, I don't want to go into that big spiel. Um, I just couldn't ignore it, considering how the channel started out, um, so I had to make something about it. Even though I don't know what to say, all I can come up with, really, which isn't very profound, is that we're all literally in this together. Everyone um, in that hall tomorrow, or wherever you're getting yours from, um, everyone is feeling the same. I haven't spoken to one person yet that said they're super confident and they're super looking forward to it or anything like that. Um, I think the general feeling is pretty much anxious, nervous, scared, um, which is terrible because I don't know if I'm going to sleep tonight. I'll probably wake up at five in the morning. Oh, give, it literally gives me the heebie-jeebies. So, good luck to everyone. I'm going to move on swiftly and just make this a quick, like, chit chat vlog because I don't want to dwell on the leaving cert. Uh, I'd rather you come here for a distraction from that rather than coming here to have your fears reinforced. My ponytail will not stay where I want it to stay. I have to pin it sort of at the front of my. That won't work. Okay, so basically, what has been going on in the life of me? Well, uh, Megan, our other daily lady, has been away and she's not coming back till Friday so she's getting her results online which is scary because she won't get them until 12, half 12. Um, so I've just been chilling out. I've been doing a lot of writing um, in my spare time. Um, also, I've started watching some horror films with a my other best friend, uh, James if you're watching this, probably not though, hi, um, but we have watched Paranormal Activity 2 and Insidious so far and neither frightened me at all, um, which actually surprised me because I used to be a pretty much massive scaredy cat but neither of them scared me um, in the slightest and Paranormal Activity 2 was so slow, like really slow, I know I should have watched the first one but it wasn't on Netflix, um, but no, so maybe I'm made of steel, I don't know, but not scared as of yet. Um, I watched Sweeney Todd twice in one day. I watched Charlie and the Chocolate Factory twice. <laughs> um, and that's basically it. I haven't been doing much. I've kind of just been relaxing, like reading, doing unproductive things, going to Costa. Just really exciting stuff. I was thinking perhaps, considering I got a reasonably good response for the kind of quiz video I did, I'd probably do another one of those. 
um, and I think I might bulk film today. So if you see me wearing this outfit, perhaps in more than one video, it's because I'm filming uh, a lot of videos all at once because next week I'm going to be busy, I have to get shoes for the Debs, I have to get my hair finalised, I have to, there's a lot of things going on next week so I don't want to leave you videoless. Uh, hopefully myself and Megan will make a video together next week, in fact we will, that's a promise, um, once she's back from her holidays. Um, either it'll be briefly about the leaving cert, how we feel after first round of offers come out, or it will be just something fun because you'll probably might need something fun. You'll be sick of hearing about the leaving cert by then. So that's it really. I think I'm gonna go straight after this and film one of my quiz videos or film something else that's more upbeat and lively um, so that I can post that at some point so you're not left without videos for a long time. Um, but I just, because the channel started out being a leaving cert vlog channel, it was important that I did mention it important that I did bring it up and there are so many routes these days to get into what you want to get into and if you don't get the points you don't get what you wanted or you don't get what you truly deserved there are so many so many things you can do and there's always a silver lining to every situation even when it seems like it's completely bleak there's always always something. If it means you have to go and get a job and work for a while, if it means you might have to resit a certain exam or resit the whole thing or you might have to go through a different degree to get to the one you want to be in, there's always a way and there is always, always something. Which is what Violet Baudelaire used to say in A Series of Unfortunate Events. There's always something. And always remember my very favourite quote, Everything will be all right in the end, and if it is not all right, it is not yet the end. So, I would live by that, because anything could happen tomorrow. You could have worked your butt off and something went wrong, or anything, anything. It's completely unpredictable, but I hope that every single one of you gets exactly what you wanted, and that you all get what you deserve, and I hope that no matter what happens, you all find a way to find a positive side, and maybe, even if it doesn't go as good as you hoped, that you still go out tomorrow night or, you know, still continue with your celebrations because you still managed to get through it. You still got through it. You still worked for it. You got through something that was on a whole other level of stressful <laughs> and you came out the other end and you did your best and that's reason enough to celebrate. So good luck to all of you. I honestly, truly, from the bottom of my heart, wish you all the best and, um, we're all in this together. As High School Musical once said, very profound words. Um, I will see you guys in many more videos and <sighs> I'm freaking out too if it's, if it's any consolation. So I will see you guys later. Bye.